All right, guys, welcome back. And today is Sunday, so I have some time to make a video. And here we go. So we are talking about broken X control, and I found a great way to start this series because I'm I'm starting this series because I have to take a uh, two or three exam this month, and just uh, and two or three months are left for that. So I thought like it will be a good idea if I also uh, just make uh, videos on that. But yeah, I talk a lot and that wastes your time. So I'm here with OAS and I'm starting with top 10. Uh, that's a good idea. And here, so this broken access control was uh, like in five in 2017, if I'm not wrong. Uh, but uh, now it's on the first place. And there is a reason because it contains a lot of them and everything as we go on here. So this will take a lot of time to just cover this. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you can just go and just read this and I'm, I'm not gonna give any link because uh, do your recon yourself and just find out all this but if you're gonna type uh, you're gonna find it so what is OWASP let's first like uh, open web application security project uh, somebody will ask you what is OWASP so <laughs> I'll just go with that so it's a project and I have ideas of all the web vulnerabilities ever now, not the, just the web and mobile applications too. Uh, there's another uh, OWAS mobile top 10 for that. Uh, we will go on that if we go on the mobile pen testing or something like that. We will cover that if I will be alive and making videos. But but here we are. So today we are going to do a video on path traversing or, or whatever you call it, LFI and traversing. Uh, okay, direct traversing, so that thing. So, but the interesting part here, which really uh, curious and I have to know if you are using Linux or maybe like if you are using Windows or CMD or like any, <laughs> what, do you, what do you say, any, any shell. So you already know like what is absolute path and what is relevant path and that that is that is what this whole application, all vulnerabilities, all about. So here are like CW. If you click on that and if you jump over there, you will find a way, a uh, describing way, and you can just go and learn from here. Uh, you see this, like a sad guy and everything. I, I have read that, uh, but not like properly because it, it sucks. And they have to work on their uh, website. Uh, I really want to see some shining and something like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Then after that, we are going to solve this lab, uh, any mystery lab or like whatever, because uh, this will give us a real world scenario where we can just apply everything. So, but first let's start with like, what is absolute part and what is the relevant part? Because if, uh, I remember this is also a content in OSCP. Uh, there is also a, three or four page in the PDF where they are just talking about it and everyone should know about it. So what is absolute path as absolute path, uh, like uh, the, uh, you, you can just uh, imagine this from the word absolute. Okay. So it means like root and like this octopus guy, if you, if you think it's a, it's a plant, uh, I don't want to search it. So it's a plant. And uh, so how the plant categorize, I'm not a, biology student but uh, from the root right so absolute path is like from the origin if it started let, let me go from the root my root directory and uh, let me jump to the coding part where I code and maybe HTML or something so if I want to go there I will change the directory to uh, home then my user and then like and I have this folder I don't know why so <laughs> So, and then the coding part and then HTML. So now if I hit enter and I will use PWD where I am. So this is absolute path because I have started from the root and this is the whole path. If I just copy this and uh, uh, do CD and paste it here, then if I do PWD where I am, now I'm here again in this. If I do ls, uh, if you don't believe me where I am, so uh, I'm right now here. But if I do, uh, okay, now what about the, so we can just traverse from any place, from 
any place uh, if you are in any other directory or somewhere else you can just use this like full command like full path and then you can go to that directory so that's how it works but in relevant path uh, <laughs> uh let me to bash here so this is relevant path okay uh this is relevant path if i go uh, i just traverse from the uh, root directory to here right so if i go back to the root directory and i do cd and this and enter it will be like no such directory or like file oh what the fuck are you talking about so something like this so <laughs> uh relevant path is uh the shortest path uh and like uh, in the in the present directory where you are in right now uh, currently and the absolute path is from the root directory so just understand this thing if you can't if i am not able to make any sense right now like if you can't able to understand like what i'm saying then you can just go and search about or just open your chat gpt and you will be like what is the relevant part what is the absolute part i want to learn and you will be all good to go so let me clean this up i don't want to see my terminal just like this i i have some kind of like psycho things <laughs> okay so and this is a cheat sheet which you can prefer so OWASP have cheat sheet about everything so you can just go and there are like so many things to learn you see here so many things to learn that of which and I'm, I'm telling you how many things I have no idea about how many things that's that's why I keep on learning like this so let's let's go and let's challenge me and let's see like how we are gonna use it um I'm also like so much curious oh like oh uh, what a login I'm, I'm I got logged out why I got logged out no way shit okay let me let me pause this one here oh no here we go so let me solve okay now this is path reverse right submit a solution oh we have to submit a solution here uh okay so let me go to let's see uh okay here we go the path <laughs> uh this is this is not like a like a big website and where you are just going and see all the parameters so hey i know i know okay let's go to the scope and let me add this one Oh, copy 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 add and check okay so now we are in cool so let me refresh it again okay can, can we able to see a uh, 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 stupid thing now we will have this here mapping started cool nice now let's open this in a new tab and this is a file can we able to see that file here let me see can we able to see the file here product one and nah that happens a lot now let me refresh it ping pong ping pong no we don't need that okay here we are now let me go to the repeater switch off so uh, now here we can test I have switch off my computer yeah now here we can there yeah why we are testing here because it is giving us like a file name so we can just try to do that uh, wh what do we have to do here what do we have to find out what the, what the solution okay I, I don't know like what are they asking they are just like submit the solution let me do go there and utc password can we use it nah no such file so let me do double encoding here maybe maybe it's not that much maybe it's just a relevant path did you see no no let's do 
too much this is too much yeah seems like too much let's do encoding url encoding this all characters damn nothing let's do again to all characters nothing what what do we have to do here now okay reader submit the content of edc passwords yeah this that's cool now dot p and g okay oh this is gonna be a null byte i i think it's gonna be a null byte because that didn't work and now we can do percent see the cheat sheet always work percent zero zero and let's go oh and let me remove this whole shit here and ding. oh not working ding. all right why is no working okay nice it is possible yeah. right okay nice ignore okay this is what we are doing right let me copy this another byte is not working this no. what else we can do if another byte is not working then phn dot reverse and this is good we can put mm -hmm. PHP This is not P and JPG that was JPG right that was PNG Let me see again no, JPG JPG cool. Let me go again Oh right, this this does not work. Okay, what else we can do? So null white doesn't work, absolute doesn't work, relevant doesn't work. Oh shit, this am I? Oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can I can use <laughs> double. Maybe this work. This one ah no, it's not working. Let's uh do uh four doors for me <laughs> yeah one two and uh, one two and one two one two one two one two come on dude <laughs> that's not how i should want to end this so null bag was the idea i was thinking this kind of work. oh whoa Shit, that's why I want to solve lab like it too much. Okay, now we can solve. So, I think I have used all the tricks and like one of them work. So, this is a good idea. Okay, let's me go and copy this here. Okay, solve. Like, I, you, you said I have to submit something. Oh, this. Alright, whatever. So, null byte works, that works. But, yeah. So now let's have go back. We can we can go back, right? So this works. Uh, encryption and like whatever is this this works. So now let's go back and start like how much things we have did. <laughs> so this yeah we have started from here. We thought like we can just go with the relevant one because maybe like it's it's not taking us. So this works most of the time. You will see like hundreds uh, posting this and this works like most of the time but here we are having a bad server so it doesn't work for us then we also started with the absolute one this is a this is called like absolute here uh, and this is called relevant uh, when you are testing like uh, this kind of like pause it because if you use this here uh, in your Linux this will act like you are going from there so 
this doesn't work then we started like this maybe like etc and password works then it doesn't work then we start we go added more slashes so we can traverse more and more slashes then we started like encoding <laughs> double encoding nothing work we do png but most of the time then we use null byte and then again and that's how we tested like the hpg and double now here and there we go then we solved it so that's a good thing and i mean i have just did like all of things uh in this lab have but if we want to go into some of the hard ones you know, if you go to the reports there will be like uh you you can't able to doing uh this here so not in the file name maybe in some of the requests where like file is getting retrieved and there you have to like put your payload so that's like i think like we have did whatever i have in my mind so uh we have gone so if, if you go and just check this there you will find like all this technique which i have just uh, did right now in this one so in the next one we are going to talk about like idors or something like that or maybe like improper access control which i'm saying so that's it and today is sunday so yeah i have did like mma training again and maybe maybe ready for the fight but i don't know if i can <laughs> but okay so yeah just see ya and i i will write a blog